So this video is going to be very topical. If you haven't heard the news, the Power Rangers Lightning Collection is going on a bit of a hate, as you could say. It's not being cancelled, it's being put on ice as Josh says in this article. So, if you haven't heard the news, Josh over at Toku Topics, Living Ranger Key, Lightning Fig PR, uh, posted a video on Toku Topics talking about the Lightning Collection coming to an end, or going on a bit of a break, you could say. And Veersance had a lot of people talking. Now, I've collected a couple of Lightning Collection figures. They're very expensive here in Australia. It's $40 for one. And then for like the deluxe ones or the exclusive ones, then it's close to like $100 at least. So I try not to get too many because they're very hard to find in Australia. Because like you can't, classic retail stores don't have them. And if they do have them, they're from like wave two or wave three. And they're just basically peg warmers at this point that are very expensive. So I don't have a lot of them. I'll get the characters I like, but I haven't like gotten every single lightning collection figure that's come out. But hearing that the collection or the figure line is going on a bit of a break is... An interesting thing to learn about, and in this video, I'm going to be reading the article that Josh wrote on the Illuminati. I was going to watch his video and do another rambly video, but I thought I'd read his article and talk about it, and I'll have some, probably some gameplay footage over overlaid, so that way you're not just reading a big block of text, and then I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check out this article. So, let's read this article over on the Illuminati, done by Josh, so let's go. The Power Rangers Lightning Collection to take a break in 2024, exclusive. Hasbro will be pumping the brakes on the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. For the last five years, Hasbro has released many figures and roleplay items for the popular Power Rangers Lightning Collection toy line. It launched in 2019 during their first year of owning the franchise and has gone strong with 150 plus characters coming to life. However, that might be put on hold as claims of Hasbro taking a break on releases for this line are now making their way around. So Josh did say in their video that they have heard from several sources that the line is going on a bit of a break um, or it's going to go quiet for a bit. And that's not from one or two. Josh said he's heard it from several. So that's interesting. Power Rangers Lightning Collection... Power Rangers Lightning Collection pauses in 2024. And if I remember correctly, Josh said that it might be going on break until like summer 2024. So a fair bit. But from what I've also heard, like there's been other toy lines that Hasbro has done that went on break like Marvel Legends and maybe the Star Wars Black Series. I'm not sure, but I think someone said that Marvel Legends went on a bit of a hiatus. Um, I don't know if that's true. Any toy fans, back me up in the comment section, please. I don't know if Hasbro has done this before. Um, so could you please confirm or deny for me? That'd be great. Um, but let's keep scrolling down. Right around the... Right around the corner is the release of Season 30 for Power Rangers, Cosmic Fury. And while the season hasn't even premiered, yet fans have been waiting for any news about what lies ahead for the brand next year. Oh boy, I've heard that a lot. <laughs> um, when Season 31, what's after Cosmic Fury? Kira Major? Zenkaija? Don Brothers? I would love to know. Um, usually by this point in the year, there would be casting sli slides, name leaks, and more. But that is... But that haven't blah, 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 and more. But that hasn't even happened this time around, and with production officially confirmed to be leaving New Zealand, all signs are pointing that no season, no season thirty one is currently in the works. That is true. Like even last year, um, we had those casting slides. Was it last year or the year before? It was a while ago. But we heard those casting slides for the Once and Always special. And that had a lot of people talking. It was either the casting slides for that or Cosmic Fury. I think maybe both of them. I can't remember. But I remember that. Um, so let's keep reading. Usually around this time... Usually around this time of the year, there would be also leaked toy listings for the upcoming Lightning Collection figures as the production timeline of the next 12 to 18 months of these figures leads to the stores and other means of certain... Another means leaking certain information of what's in the works a long time in advance. This has not also happened this year, and can only now be reported that Hasbro will most likely be taking. Blah, 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 blah. I cannot speak today. 
This has not happened this year, and now can be reported that most likely Hasbro will be, will be taking some time, maybe up to a year off, for the items in this toy line. That is crazy. What's left? This doesn't mean that the Lightning Collection is ending forever. Despite constant discounts and clearances suggesting low sales and a vast history of fan complaints and about quality control, the line has remained popular throughout its run. That is true. Even a... Even a... Even if a break is indeed on its way, Hasbro will most likely to bring it back sometime in some form sooner than later. That's true, so it's going on a bit of a hiatus. The idea is... The ideal situation for the line will be to return with a soft relaunch alongside the reboot production currently in development by Jonathan Anderson and Jenny Klein for Netflix. Status of these productions have been very slow since their announcement in 2019 and 2022. Oh, that feels like a lifetime ago, 2019. Respectively, with the current WGA and SAG strikes going on, nothing on these will be able to occur for a while or more. Why stop? Oh, there's all the ninja figures without... Where's the one with the in-space head? That's my favourite one. There's one with no head. There's some with no head. Oh, there's one that Josh posted. And they basically had like an imprint. I think it was like the Tommy head here was like a um in-space mask. Like that helmet, which was really funny. I love that one. <laughs> um, it's possible that Hasbro will be using this time in a more positive way, taking action to correct the many issues that have been plagued the releases, so that way interest and in sales can improve. Ever since the change in production from China to Vietnam at the beginning of 2022, many issues from duplicate and missing pieces, paint issues and breakage have been widespread. The official statement Hasbro has released in regard of this potential slowdown is actually against the idea as the Lightning Collection is listed amongst the 2024 production lines reverting back to include plastic packaging in their next year. This doesn't mean the line is going in the way... Wait. This doesn't mean the line is still going in the way it's been known to and there's also chances the decision to freeze things was more recent. And then there's the Josh leakings that he's talked about. So we've got Unknown Samurai Ranger... Uh, let to, yet to be coded Sun City, that's going to be 150. Uh, the Tiger Sword, which I want. Uh, Yellow Wrencher Helmet, Morphinaut, the Master Morpher, uh, Cole, and then uh, Omega Rangers, and then there's all the codes. Old listings most likely never coming out. And then there's all that one. Never know what those codes meant, I think. Um, 2023 isn't done yet for new items to be revealed as Hasbro still needs to showcase the Leak Go Mega Ranger 4 pack, Master Morpher, Yellow Ranger Zap Helmet, Zap Tiger Zord, no sorry, Master Morpher, Yellow Ranger Helmet, Zap Tiger Zord, and four potential Boom Studio related, related figures. But beyond these items and any other potential Cosmic Fury toy lines for the kids line, it's most likely the Lightning Collection's uh, items won't be seen until fall 2024 if the line is planned to continue. So learning about this is kind of crazy because the Lightning Collection line has been around since 2019 and I always thought it would just keep going strong and they'd keep releasing figures, but hearing what Josh does say in the article does make sense. I mean, after Power Rangers Cosmic Fury, there's not going to be any new Power Rangers media in the form of a TV show or movie or special. The only thing we're going to be getting is the comics. And personally, I love the comics. The comics aren't everyone's cup of tea, but the comics are going to be the only things we're going to be getting when it comes to new Power Rangers media. And people need to accept that. Like, you got to jump on the comics. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but they're pretty freaking cool in my opinion. Um, but it makes sense if the line is going to go on a bit of a hiatus, and then when the reboot is actually coming out, bring it back. So that way you can have the idea of Power Rangers back in everyone's heads and then sort of do like figures of whatever they're doing for the reboots, for whatever those Rangers are doing, which is pretty cool. Now I'm hoping that we're going to see the other figures that Josh listed down there, the Omega Rangers, the, uh, the Tiger Zord, the Master Morpher, that stuff. That stuff I definitely want to get. Like I'm hoping that stuff comes out later this year. But if it doesn't come out later this year, will it trickle into early 2024 
and then we'll see like the hiatus after all that stuff comes out. Because I get the feeling that Hasbro is going to release whatever they need to release, and then it's just going to go dead silence. I mean, I believe last year they went pretty silent before announcing another wave um, officially, and now it looks like they will be going on a hiatus with this brand. And hiatuses can be a good thing. Like, if it goes on a hiatus, then that could be a good thing. They can look look back at the mistakes they've made with, like, the production quality and stuff like that and maybe fix some things up. Will they change production where they put out the toys for back to China instead of doing Vietnam? I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out. But either way, it's kind of sad to see the Lightning Collection go on a bit of a hiatus or come to an end. Um, maybe I can play catch up with some of the figures I've missed, but hopefully they don't go up in price, which is one thing that worries me, because I feel like some figures have just gone up on value, um, with them no longer being in production. Like, have you seen how much the original Mighty Morphin figures have gone up in price in with the Lightning Collection line? Like, in the hundreds, which is crazy. Um, I'm probably have to gonna snag the remastered line, so that way I can get it cheaper. But... Yeah, what do you guys think of this big reveal? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. With that said, I think I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, take care, and bye!